start playing <laughs> but what should I do should I restart the game or should I I think I remember the whole thing but I'm not really sure I don't remember I don't remember, I don't remember. But with everybody think yes no so uh, uh, uh. oh god one second I'm sorry got to stop again one minute. I just need to go in the other room. And my body's dancing everywhere. Start the game. This probably should have. It just makes 
more sense, more proper at that point. So now how long is this the year? Japanese, uh, it heads Japanese, tail, English. Fuck. Okay, tail to this, so English. Logic difficulty. <laughs> Should we do me, guy, me, guy, me, me? Action kind. You know, just give me a brain tickler. Pause the panda bear himself. The oh, pandas are already there. That was gonna be good. One <laughs> thing I didn't understand, how does Monokuma, or the individual behind Monokuma, do all these elaborate deaths? Because I did watch the anime adaption. Oh, that was a long time ago. Like maybe six, seven years ago. And I can't remember. Uh, I, I remember who the culprit is. I'm not going to spoil this for people who haven't watched, who haven't played this or watched the anime. But I don't understand where all the money came from. Or am I just forgetting shit? Oh god. Trigger happy havoc. Dun 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 ba. The massive high school towers over all others buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands in the center of the entire world. Hope Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say if you can come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the entire into the working force every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things. Oh, I can still hear myself. I forgot to. to already be attending high school, and two, you have to be the very best of what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Naegi? Hello, Makoto. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like I do, 
but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show was, they'll all just be whatever is most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. That is so nice. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. Oh, God. <laughs> like I said, uh, things might be happening. Give me a minute. We're gonna put the end of the in the room.
about that. Long little break. <laughs> and to be on the phone. Oh, they didn't want to. Well, I need you guys. I had to. I had to. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's fine though. Well, sorry. I'm glad I touched you guys. But we'll do it. I'm right back. Here I am, standing in front of, of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I, I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hope Speak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. What's it say? Come on, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything, everything there is state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be going there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So jealous, it's only for winners. Now that <laughs> chat room be chat rooms. Um, it's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I, can, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already had their eyes on him. Oh god, with that flash. Uh, there's also the ultimate fashionista. As you see, she's beautiful. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, <laughs> oh and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. This is a school, a government school. Why would you get him just because he's the ultimate biker gang leader? I mean, yes, he shows leadership potential, but biker <laughs> illegal leadership potential. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang <laughs> in Japan! Every, gangs everywhere love the guy. He's just a kid! <laughs> right, anime logic. High schoolers are more... <laughs> they're more intelligent and experienced than 50 year olds. On top of that, there is the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, oh god. The ultimate gambler. That sounds like a problem. The ultimate swim swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of life. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there was a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, 
I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is, quotation mark, a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me and see why. We recently, <laughs> we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us at the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Bro, why are you complaining about? You know how many people who would die to get into a, a, a big a nice school like that? But like just like, oh, we just want you number a back of a, of a bag. Here's a free scholarship. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just to decline their offer. Bro, why? Okay, you're starting to accept me. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, how I just couldn't say no. Okay, he has some sense. He has some sense. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I look down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gather up all my determination and try to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Ah, oh, the walking sound effects. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got there way too early. I wish I was like that. I had plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here by here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around. It'll help me kill some time and nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Peaks Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. God, it's starting. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, Everything went black. That's how it all began. That's how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy was because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair High School. Prologue. Do you want to say data? Yes. Uh, this, 
Dang, it was all way back in July. Let's. Do we have infinite slots just in case? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Save here. Alright, let's start chapter one. Or is this still the prologue? No, this should be chapter one. Speechless. <laughs> oh, the art. So, mm -hmm. jacket. What? what? Where, where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Ooh! Welcome to Hope Speak Academy! Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at any object, you can interact with it. You can just press the X button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional button or the L1 and R1 buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay. That's a pointer. Oh. Okay, so that's how you mean by R1 and R2. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these that keep weirdos from just wandering in. Yeah, but why would it be in the classroom? Who are you? Tardy note. That's a desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. <laughs> oh god, I feel like being called out here. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, a new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting, starting today. This school will be your entire world. An orientation guide? It's not a kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school of your entire world. What the hell? This is someone's idea of a joke? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just 7 when I first got here. Has it already been almost an hour since then? What the heck? Any normal classroom, that, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, pretty, pretty thick. Yep, <laughs> definitely thick metal, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the window? Okay, let's see. So, what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope Speak Academy. Oh my god, how did I not realize that? Ah, so stupid, so stupid. But then, if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like prison or something? None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. 
There might be other students there by now. What's the TV say? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. You like him in a strange place? Leave the area. Yes! Oh, it's a beautiful shade of pink. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. Yeah, it's like you're inside Margin Boo. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use lust at the move through the hallway. Hold the zero b -b 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 button down while, mo while moving to run. You also, also can press triangle to bring up the map. Press triangle again to close the map. How convenient! Just walking. Oh god, that's running. Running, 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 running. <laughs> That's one day! Hey, we're in one day! Room 1B is locked. Keep out marks clearly mean it's not open. Maybe that's the uh, nurse's office. The nurse's office. Off limits looks like. Yeah, this isn't raising red flags for you. I wonder why there's a gate. The gym handle, it didn't move at all. Ah, right, here we go. It's me, our classmates, everybody. Golly ho. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? <laughs> Look at this colorful clap this car colorful bunch of characters. I ho all hope they are nice and good people. Why is this pan so freaky? <laughs> the lack of music this pan is just so unsettling. Huh? Then you guys are all Yes, they yeah, are Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students. That had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered here, picking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Oh, we're putting that together. Uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa! You too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Why did you do <laughs> Um, what are you talking about? 
I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else you must address. Listen to me! Makoko, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unacceptable. I must report you. You must accept your due punishment. What? Uh, what's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Oh god, I wonder what her voice be. I already got a sample. Like, okay, um, everyone! <clears throat> everyone! Just calm down! Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions! <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are, are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's name? Yeah. yeah that's a good point. Um... Um, okay, let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Now I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the students and press X to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Glad you have been taking notes for this. Okay, I'm just examining. That surveillance camera has what well, looks like a gun attached to it. Yeah, Makoto, you, you, yeah, you're not bright, you're not bright. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Holy cow, that's... What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't there then, though. Alright, let's, let's take a look at Ida. <laughs> no, it's not Ida, but similar characters. So you say, Kiyo, Kiyo Taka Ishimura. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimura. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Um, yes. Ultimate Moral Compass. So that's Kyota. Kyotaka, Kyota, Kyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his committees, Community Public Morale Co Committee. Community Public Morale Committee. They say he respects rule above all else, earning him the title Ultimate Moral Compass. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You shall thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself to every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is... kind of annoying. Oh god, is this one. Doko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Hello, Toko. 
Yield the next variety. Prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then, two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story that is said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot up to the top of every hottest men pool. <laughs> Why? Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why, which is why she comes to known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figure she to be lovey dovey type, but with her masterpiece being a romance. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh thank god, what is that face? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Woman, I'm just I'm just talking to you. Filthy creature? No, I just thought <laughs> I, I know what you just thought. You thought you never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, I wasn't. I wasn't not thinking that at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you. I know you can't stand looking at me. I can't stand being your presence, but it ain't about your looks, girl. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Talk about inferiority complex. Yeah. She has some issues. Okay, we're gonna pause it for one quick minute. I'm actually probably gonna need to pause it. I just need to step away for a quick second. Give me two minutes. Two minutes, 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 minutes. minutes. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. Hey, I look I forward to getting to know you. I got the last thing right. Ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. In that pleasant scent, I can't quite place it. Sayaka Maizono. 
when I saw her name in that thread online, I frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be doing this, going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I am alive. Uh, did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. <laughs> I was uh, playing. I'm psychic. Uh, <laughs> kidding. I just, I just really had good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Hey, um. By any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah. It must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did. Just hold on. Hey, jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time in this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. S sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um, uh, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It's kind of like Saika really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like they'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Which one is Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Eh, hey, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Nothing in the game happened. It was nothing in the game. <laughs> it was all me, um... I'm pretty sad with you, but... I still don't know about him. Pretty Breaking Bad fans. Oh my god. Why, when I saw this boy, my first thought, Jesse Pinkman. Like, this is anime Jesse Pinkman. Like, early Jesse Pinkman. Oh my god. I can, I can fucking see it. I can fucking see it. Take away the... His little ponytail beard and the rings. It's there. I, I see it. I see it and I can't get out of my mind. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic spe specium, specimen. Ultimate example, blah blah blah, is. Oh, his voice. We're not going to make him sound like his VA. We're gonna. He, he, this is Jesse. This is Jesse. <clears throat> Yo! Seriously? Huh? Uh, what's wrong with you? N nothing. I'm just surprised. I figure with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Give me a break. What? You're expecting some kid with a shaved head, yo? Shaved... head? No, I was... <coughs> <coughs> yeah! Sorry. Sorry. Where'd that coming from? No, I was just expecting more of a... a... you know... Sportsy looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. Yeah, we got a badass right there. <laughs> what, man? You found that picture of me playing baseball, yo? 
seriously. <laughs> I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously? I'm like mega embarrassed right now, yo. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulation. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm gonna dye it back to normal either. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal. Hey, good for him. Keep long hair. Guys with long hair are awesome. I mean, look at me. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you, yo? You know... I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Bulls! I'm not a sportsman, but I, I'm calling bulls. Because <laughs> I know you cannot be like you without a single day of practice. Even if you're a prodigy. He never practiced and he was still his team's star player. Is he some kind of prodigy? No, because even prodigies have to train. Yeah! And as soon as I got stepped to here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future, yo. A dream for the future. <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I hear something like that from a baseball all star. Oh god, the guy's gonna make it all look bad. Oh, uh, wait, it's Callie telling me. It's Callie! One minute, guys.
Open your backpack. I they had some phone calls to me. There are people calling me. I'm on the She's out and she's going to be home soon. So I had to stop the game. But this was always supposed to be a short little stream. But yeah, you hear my voice? It's Callie. It got Callie on here. For the right ringtone. I kind of like that I can't really figure out the, what part of the song I want to play for the ringtone. It just starts at the very beginning. It sucks. I, I, like, there's specific points where like, yeah, this is the best part of the song. Let's have that play. I can't figure out the game to do this. Do it. But it's fine. That's not that bad. The bad. First world problems. First world problems. You know what I mean? Alright, ba boom. Boy, let's get back to the game. And now the character to make all of us, <laughs> all of us gamers look bad. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Oh God, who's that voice actor? The ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. By the way. How much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh god. World of 2D. <laughs> well, in that world, I am very well known and supremely well regarded as the <clears throat> ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> I once sold a 10,000 I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event passed into a legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can they be? Yes, because if the entire group is saying you're bad, there's not a single thing wrong with you. Nothing to reflect about there. That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies, that's definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. Uh, what kind? What kind of meanings? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basic urges. I don't think I want to comprehend this. He, he writes smut. He writes smut. But... He's, uh... Ah... Uh, am I gonna say this in person? I'm gonna say this in person. I'm gonna say this in person. I'm gonna say this in person, I'm gonna say this in person and... <laughs> And ain't, you, you don't act like this. You don't act like that. You know what you're writing. You know what you're writing it for. Don't act like you're high and mighty about it. I'm gonna regret that one day in the future saying that <laughs> on camera. I am going to regret that. There's nothing like was here, but I, <laughs> that's gonna come back to bite me one day. It's going to come back to bite me one day. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. <laughs> Hi, Hina. By far, you're the nicest person here. Ultimate Swimming Pro! Aoi Ashima. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been since elementary school. She's, she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic candidate. God damn, she good. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um... <clears throat> proportions... ...have been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, Lee. <gasps> totally forgot. Um, Madako Naiki. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not 
something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Matoko. Mato. Mato. Makoto Nike. Makoto Nike. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. <laughs> Uh, I love her. I love her. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write on your hand three times. I never heard that before in my life. To be fair, neither have I. <sighs> hey. By the way, how do you spell your last name? Spell it exactly how to make it sound. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sh sure, thank you. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. I like the cut of her chip. Chi Chihiro Fujisaki. Uh, I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off if I don't call this person, this character by the right thing. So I'm just gonna call it, say what the dialogue says. Until further noted. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, Fujisaki. The ultimate programmer! Mm. Sorry. I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Is this just my imagination? But have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh yeah, good point. Sorry. Y you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer and the character is calling herself she. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing, which has endeared her to a legion of fame. Hey, so, listen. I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, cause... Just cause you seem upset? You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Good. I was afraid you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are into her. I know, she's freaking cute. Oh, no want to be detective. Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. You gonna introduce yourself? Okay, good conversation. Oh my god, you're, just, you're so expressive. Um, can I ask your name? That's lovely. How do you how do you spell? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri, I said it right. <gasps> we don't know. What is she? What is she the ultimate of? We need to know. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Pope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't get any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? So, um, what are you doing at the school? What? What that's supposed to mean? No, I just meant 
getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. me your business is your <sighs> business. No, I don't have to tell you. So, I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online. So, I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance. Like me. But... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Oh god, it's Junko Hiroshima! It's our Hi. party girl! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. I am. You have such a bubbly personality. The ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the old fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, uh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those... Oh, I went back to my... Can I... We call dialogue? I guess I can't recall dialogue. Photoshopped. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and bad, like, with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real? What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> these make... <clears throat> they make the eyes and junk super big and treat the skin so it looks all chromatic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> My boy. How did you That's right, the game was supposed to take place in 2010. Or 2010 when the game came out, so I guess I'll, I'll let him live his dreams. Now time for this bulky prime sample of masculinity. Mondo Owada. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet you. Oh my god. Oh, so, so manly. The ultimate biker gang leader. Mondo Owada. Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even awe from every gang in the country. He's the oak bike gang leader. Um nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. Better be careful around him. Wrong wrong word and I could wake up in the bottom of the sea. These four over there there are only four left. Good lord, look at the muscles. Sakura Ogami. Ogami? I am Sakura Ogami. Sakura. Ultimate martial artist. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> The day I say something like that out loud is the day I can turn into a human meatball. She hopefully she can do it too. Now remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. 
That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. <laughs> oh, there's a thing missing Ling. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Any incoming Hope Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantities right at, around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Huh. What a shame. You're not all at fit to fit. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Mm, no, but you can train me. I mean, you're pretty strong. You must know a thing or two. You can show me the ropes. I'm not sure that's just a shame for me. Oh god, this prick like light wannabe. By by, I always have a hard time pronouncing this name. By Byakua, Byakua Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byakua Togami. Ultimate affluent prodigy. Affluent. Hi. Um, nice to meet you. Uh huh. That's the most half-assed introduction I ever heard. <laughs> But there really isn't. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakua Togami. He's the heir apparent. Heir apparent of his massive family financial conglomerate. Conglomerate. He's also started managing business operations and his and his own personal assets are well. Best. He's the ultimate affluent prodigy. He is, com he is completely accurate. He is the definition of exception. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. <laughs> like a king in training. God, get this peasant away from me. Don't want to talk to the help. Yashiro Hakukure. Hakukure. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero Hakukure. for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Okay, hero. Ultimate clairvoyance. Hero, Kaku, Kaku, Kakure, Hero, his name's Hero. Hero, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there is any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay, I give up. Uh, what happened? Serious. I saw it. Look right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. Guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off the skin. <laughs> <coughs> what, my bro? He saw what? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, you should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Memora and its civilizations. But we're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Uh, I'm actually 21. 
I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Oh gosh, the hot one. I mean, <clears throat> the crazy one, the crazy one. Did not say that. I mean, you, didn't, you guys didn't hear anything. You guys didn't hear anything. <laughs> she is simply known as Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg. No, she looks like she wants to rip me in. My guts open. He's very <laughs> Ultimate Gamble. Celestia Luden. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. <clears throat> Ludenberg is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you just call me Celeste. Uh, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? Oh my god, Makoto. Just be... <laughs> Makoto, you gotta be better. Man. You gotta be better. You know, little nationalist right there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. As I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self- Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry!
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, this game, this little playthrough thing longer than it should. Alright. The self styled Celestia Ludenberg. She is the ultimate gambler. She's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lita clothes, I mean, best clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She's totally cleaned out other players, taking their life sa savings and laughing as she did. My type of woman. Oh god, she's so good. She's good. She's good. She's good. <clears throat> she's it. She's it. She's it. it. Double. Like the eyes are knocked down the door. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better wash myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Um... Something. Hmm. Okay. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends. Oh, guys. Prick, he's prick, he's prick. <clears throat> this is no time to, to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eye baboons. Oh, that's true? I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, um, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff right happened and then you just fell asleep, right? Well, that is true for all of us. Wait, seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after... A just after each of us got to that main hall, we lost consciousness, yo. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you too, right? <clears throat> but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! <laughs> Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! <clears throat> and that's not the only thing. <clears throat> and that's not the only thing you saw were all windows in the classes and hall rooms, were right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff missing. Even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. Oh, God, this tastes the game. <laughs> PDA, oof. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What is it doing here? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know... Crime or something? Is it like like <clears throat> like a kidnapping? Y you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off while and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on! Come on! Don't think like that. Cheer up! I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure it is. So, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Ugh. So you think they want to do something su to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if it's like that at all, it's not time for me, yo. You know what I mean. I was up way too last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension ever evaporating. But then it began. Oh no. That noise can not mean anything good. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a 
test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Well then. <clears throat> the voice seemed totally out of place. It was so placeful. So completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please okay. make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Well, sure That's thing, all. bro. I'll be waiting. Okay, okay. What the hell was that just now? <laughs> well then, <clears throat> if you excuse me. Hey! Hey! Why are you just gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah! Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh, damn. I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why they gotta go and kill the mood? Huh? Well, wait for me. I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> well then, if th that is that. I will see you all there. Anyway. <coughs> Not that anyone cares. I'm going to. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just saying, but doesn't mean well. Well, doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If you do not move forward, we will learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of... No, really nervous. But we don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to the gym, right? Uh, <laughs> Makoto. They said to the gym, right? Uh, yes. So we can't save. Okay, we can only save when the game lets us save. Alright, alright, alright. Let me see something real quick. Alright, alright, so... How long have we been doing this? Oh god, not even a full two hours. This is my shortest stream I ever did. But yeah, we're gonna cut it off here. Because the night just could probably get a little bit more busy for me. And I need to train my throat. Because my voice is getting very... Um, hurt. <laughs> it's hurting really bad just from this talking so much. It's like, I don't really talk a lot, and I should learn to talk better. You know, what, what are the odds? What are the odds? And my introversion, introversion would turn against me. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But no, my voice is hurting pretty much, so yeah, we are going to end this. Just let me change that real quick. But yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who showed up. Even just for a little bit. Even though you were just a worker, it means very much to me. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm finally back from my um, little hiatus I did for the Christmas break. Not really hiatus, I didn't really do anything that much. Laid around and wasted time is what I did. Oh, they're right. Spend time with my mother. It's the first thing I see every day. I'm just ranting right now. 
<laughs> there's no point to that. There's no point to that. I'm not sure why I had to mention it. But yeah, no, I am back. I'm trying to get some more work done. I'm working on two videos at the moment. One I was supposed to record earlier, but something happened and it kind of killed it for me. So I'm going to record that tomorrow. And work on a couple things. Yeah, but I might not stream tomorrow. If I do stream, it probably won't be this. Most because the amount of talking I have to do. And the amount of range. <clears throat> range that I'm practicing for. To, <clears throat> to become a better voice actor. To develop, <clears throat> you know, talent. To, to develop talent. It's really killing me. It's... <laughs> My voice, I feel like I had strep throat because how bad my voice feels right now. But, you know, see, practice makes perfect. So I might not do this if I do stream tomorrow, just to get my voice some rest because I need to be recording and talking a bunch. Uh, not on stream, and I don't want to be doing that and it killing me. Yeah. But yeah, I do want to raid somebody. Who can we raid? Who can we raid? <gasps> Sylvie! She's on. She Sylvie's kind of cool. I haven't watched a lot of her things, but she's nice. Jeannie! Iron Mouth, Lena. Is there somebody who's a little bit more... I mean, I love those guys. I love them, I love them, I love them. I watch them a bunch, but... There has to be someone who's a little more on the down low. Who can we target? Who can we harass <laughs> with our stream? Oh, little me. Is she playing Doki Doki Plus? Oh, I'm gonna, let's, let's raid her. I never, I know her YouTube stuff where she, when she uh, does covers, but I never actually seen her as her VTuber self. So yeah, let's raid little me. I'm not really sure I have to raid someone I'm not following, so this might take me a second. Sorry about that. How do we do this? How do we do this? There we go. So it's getting ready. All right. So I'm going to leave you go, guys. I'm going to see you uh, precious hands and little knee. Little knee. <laughs> She's awesome. So please have some fun with her. And I will see you all some next time. Bye-bye.